Good morning. Sunrise with Pastor Hayton here again. So happy again today to be coming your way. Think about a lot of people that did this. They would probably plan out perhaps for a whole week or a whole month even what they were going to say each day. And I, I'm not that organized. I just don't do it that way. I sometimes really don't know what I'm going to share with you until right up until time to uh, make my little taping here. So I, uh, I'm just kind of that way. I just want to share with you from my heart whatever I feel in my heart. And that's kind of the way it is from day to day here on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. I had an experience yesterday that really woke me up. Now I complain sometimes. I don't think I'm a big complainer, not like a lot of people, but I do complain sometimes. My shoulder's been hurting a lot here lately. I went to the doctor, he uh, took an x-ray and said I had a spur in there and gave me a shot of cortisone and it's given a little relief, but it still hurts. And of course, you know, I've been struggling with a knee that's been aching now for quite some time. Scheduled for a knee replacement last summer and chickened out and canceled that and so happy that I did. And then of course, you know, I go back to 1961 when I had my car accident and injured my right ankle. So. I've got a lot of arthritis in that ankle, and I tell people, you know, i got a bad ankle on one leg and a bad knee on the other, and uh, boy, we just sometimes just kind of complain a little bit too much. But God sends people across our path to maybe wake us up and make us realize just how fortunate and how blessed we are. We hadn't gotten too far into our Sunday evening assembly until a man walked through the door and took his chair, and after the service, he began to ask if he could uh, talk to me for a little while. Well, I'd had a frustrating weekend, as you know, with our break-in and just a busy day Sunday, but any preacher worth his salt is going to sit down and talk to somebody that needs a listening ear. So after everyone had left, we sat down and talk about somebody looking like death warmed over, this man did. And he began his story. Now across the years, I've had a lot of people come to me wanting help. Gas money, utility money, food for the kids, gas for the car. I mean, I've heard about every sob story that, that there is to hear. And this person, as he began his story, I thought, here's another sob story. But there's just something about this guy, and I may be mistaken, but there's something about this guy that made me believe that he was telling the truth. He was a firefighter in New York. He was there in the towers the day that they got blown up, the Twin Towers, and he talked about being buried in the rubble of those towers for over 17 hours and how difficult it was to dig their way out and, and, and just really fortunate to be alive. However, and he blames that incident, uh, he con contacted cancer. And the story that he was telling was that he left New York to go to a cancer treatment center in Texas. And he was in Texas for 35 days and on his way back to New York, coming through Kansas City, uh, he became extremely ill and went to St. Luke's Hospital. He pulled his shirt up and he showed me a gory looking scar just about the length of his stomach. And I knew that it was a very recent surgery because of the fact that it had not healed yet. He still had a hospital bracelet on, so I, I do believe that he was just getting out of the hospital. And he talked about the, the extensive cancer surgery that he had had. Now the doctor told him he had only three months to live. Well, he said, if I can just get back to New York and get in hospice care. I can't get that here because I'm not a resident of Missouri, but if I can only get back to New York. I'd say, what brought you up to our, end of, our part of town? Well, I've been walking up and down the roads and streets trying to find someone that would give me some way to earn $140. That's what it's going to cost to get back to New York. Well, I said, I don't see how you could do too much in your weakened condition following this surgery and with your sickness. He said, if I just had an opportunity, I believe maybe that I could earn the money, but nobody wants to give me that opportunity. Well, I believe this guy. I, I mean, he shed tears, and I don't think they were crocodile tears. 
He was 45 years old, just about the age of one of my sons, and, and my heart went out to this young man. I mean, I just, something about him that uh, made me think this is a real uh, needy situation. Now, I generally don't carry much cash in my wallet, don't have a lot to carry, but I had just a day or two before had gone to AT&M to AT and had withdrawn some money uh, to, you know, buy the groceries and things that we need throughout this coming week. And I had that money tucked away in my wallet. And his story touched my heart, and I was so happy that it seemed like the Lord impressed it upon my heart to just go ahead, give him the gas money to get back to New York. And, you know, I, I took him back downtown. His car was parked there because he didn't have gas to drive, and thus he was walking, looking for work. And, and he seemed so full of gratitude. I fixed him some peanut butter sandwiches to eat on the way down, and he ate those so ravishly that I knew that he hadn't eaten for a while. And, you know, I wrestled with that. I thought, did I get taken advantage of? If I did, I feel real bad about it. But had I sent him on his way without helping, I think I would have felt much worse wondering if it was a real need that I should have taken care of. Well, I'm not boasting about what I did. I'm just saying my eyes were open to where I've got health and I've got strength and I've got money. I am so blessed today. And you're not going to hear me whining about an aching shoulder or a, a hurting knee. Uh, I'm so blessed this morning, and God opened my eyes to just how much we have to be thankful for. Well, I probably went over time, and I apologize for that, but let's ask God's blessing upon you. Heavenly Father, we pray your blessing upon our lives today. Help us to be sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit, and as we have opportunity, may we do as the Scripture admonish us. Let us do good. Help us to be thankful, Lord. That even though sometimes we do suffer, and even though sometimes we go through adversity, yet, Lord, we are so blessed today. We're so much better off than many. Help us to have grateful hearts for your blessing upon us. Lord, we thank thee again now today for this day of life. Go with us throughout the day, we ask in Christ's name. Amen. Well, we'll see you tomorrow on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. May God bless you.